What is going on guys? I'm over here driving. We're gonna put some gas in the truck, but we are here. We are in Corpus Christi, Texas right now. I actually found out what island we are going to. We are going to Padre Island to go shark fishing. I actually can't wait guys. I bet y'all can't wait either. But uh, we're gonna go over here, fill up some gas real quick, and we will get back with y'all. Okay guys, I just caught one right now. I've been having trouble with this GoPro. I got frustrated. Finally got it to work. Now let's come over here, let's catch some more fish. I just caught one. I'm sorry I couldn't get it on video, but I'm gonna get this one on video. guys we're heading back right now i can't believe when i get the gopro going the fish don't want to stay on okay guys so far we got that whiting that's a catch okay we got one right here let's go catch this one real quick all right guys i'm not sure if we have one or not i think there's the whiting right here guys but uh he's in the ice right now as we got something on what it is yet it was on cut lady cut bait ladyfish specifically oh there's two i got a double yeah see they felt like gaff tops all right let's take them over here real quick Just remember to be careful with these guys because they have these spines right here guys and they hurt worse than freaking channel cats or something but that's why they're called gaff tops People eat them, um, we haven't had them yet. Maybe we could try them one day, but for now we're looking for uh, whiting. All right, we got one up here. Guys, let's go ahead and reel them in and then we got another one on the other on the other line. So let's see what this baby gives us. I would like to feel special. Okay, my bro wants to reel it in, we yeah, watch him reel it in. It's probably a gaff top, maybe a whitening, whiting. I don't think it's a whiting though. Could be anything though. Could be a redfish. Where's it at? Is it pulling up on short? Oh yeah, gaff top. Oh, that's a big gaff top. All right, guys, we're putting the gaff top in. Ice. All right, next fish. So, guys, just regular old cut bait. That's basically all that we're using. Not very big pieces either. You know, don't give them too much. They'll bite off the small stuff just as much as they will the big stuff. All right, guys, we're hooked up again. What do we got? Gaff top, maybe? Guys, we already got one gaff top and one whiting. So... He got all. Did he really? Yes. Oh, guys, it's all right. We're going to catch another one. Out here casting it again, guys. Oh, yeah, that one's out there. Guys, once again, another fish. We're gonna figure it out. What does it feel like? Does it feel like it's tugging? Like, stop really? Where's he at? Here he is. All right, guys, we got a small gaff top. Back there we go guys we're gonna go let him go too small so we literally just threw the line in like just now i just set it down oh even pulling drag and um we are got we got hit hit hard is it big oh man bro this thing is uh, is it a little and a big old fighter 
Guys, we got them to shore. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we hung up on our other line. Look, so we got a bigger gaff top. We don't know if it's a keeper yet, but actually, yes, that looks like a keeper. Remember, watch out for them spines. They're on the side, they're on the top. Make sure that it's a keeper. We're just gonna make sure it's a keeper, guys. There we go. All right, guys, we're about to clean this catfish. If you don't wanna, uh, if you don't wanna watch it, then um, I'll tell you whenever I edit this video where, where to skip. But uh, we're gonna clean this fish right now. Right now. All right, hold this. Remember to watch out for those fins. So first you just want to gut it. And then, you know, when you're in the ocean, stick your knife in the ground so it, so it doesn't go anywhere with, when big waves hit like that. And then we're just going to take all the guts out. Alright, so when y'all are done, y'all just want to rinse them off in the uh, water, get all the sand off, and let's go put them on ice. All right, guys, so let me show you what's going on right now. So we just got another gaff top right there. But uh, there's our stash. Look, we even got one on the pole right now. All right, guys, right here, there's a bone, and you want to just cut under that. Like, get as m you want to get everything you can. And then just go up into the head. Now y'all just gonna go down the spine. If you want to get closer, but uh, um, once you get so far, just go ahead and poke it through, but don't cut all the way through the tail. Leave a little loop right here. And now you just go down the ribs and cut through all the meat. Now there's gonna be a bone right here and you either can cut around it or you have to cut through it. If you don't wanna use your filet knife, then just cut around it, but I'm gonna cut through it. Those are basically like the ribs and stuff that you're cutting through. But later you can cut all that stuff out. But just be careful not to get poked by these fins. Now there's two different ways and I'm gonna show y'all both of the ways. Y'all can do it like this if y'all like skin on. There's another way to do it to take the skin off. But um, <clears throat> now what y'all gonna do is flip them over. Cut down to the tail, don't cut through it. And then just turn your knife, flatten it as flat as you can get. As flat as you can get. If y'all can see what I'm doing. Alright guys, I just want to let y'all know, this is the belly meat. Everybody forgets about this, but look at the size of the filet. It's big. Like, it's good size and that's where this goes so don't forget about the belly meat all right that's why i cut so far up into there You 
All right, guys. These are all the fish we got. We got uh, we got a total of five fish. It feels a good five, six pounds of fillets, and we're gonna chop them up into nuggets. And I'll tell y'all what y'all need to cook them because this is a catch clean cook video. It's gonna be about fifteen, maybe twenty minutes, just so I could make it longer so y'all can enjoy it. Because when I watch YouTube videos, I want it to be long. But uh, let's get these inside. All right. All right, guys, we are in the house. Now what we're going to do is throw these, this filet right here. Now what we're going to do is, I'm not going to show it, or I guess I can show it on camera, is just cut out that bloodline. You're going to lose a little bit of meat, but hey, it's only, if, if you like fishiness, then go ahead and leave it in. But I'm going to cut it out. See, it's all right here. It's only going to be on one side. Just cut, look. Just cut all that out, like, down the middle, and you'll get good fillets. But I'm going to cut them out real quick. Away from it. Now just get this side. All right, guys. This is your main ingredient. You you need this. It's uh, Louisiana Fish Fry products. It's, it's amazing. We'll show you what we'll do with it. But this is what it looks like, the package. You need some eggs. I'm going to use probably two. I just have three in here. But um, just to have extra. But you need eggs and milk. All right, guys. You're also going to need vegetable oil or olive oil. I think we're going to be using olive oil. Just like or a grease fryer or whatever you want to cook it in. All right. What you also need, get three bowls. And then I'm going to put some music on while y'all watch us do it. And I'll put like the words on what to do. But uh, y'all just enjoy the video. I'm going to put some music on. Good. All right, well, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Catch, clean, and cook gaff top. I told you we'd be doing crazy things like that. We caught them, we cleaned them, we cooked them, and they taste amazing. I advise y'all to go out there and catch one and clean one and cook them. People tell you that gaff top tastes bad. No, it's the hard heads that they're probably talking about. But we're going to do one of those catch, clean, and cooks too because we need to find out for ourselves. Like, I'm just telling you what I think. It tastes amazing. Take that bloodline out unless you like fishy flavor. And it tastes amazing, guys. Like, I, I'm telling you, it tastes good. I'm it tastes like a catfish, but even better. Like a regular freshwater catfish. But um, that's the end of this, this video. I'll leave my channel here. My video's here. I'll leave all my equipment that I use for this fishing trip down in the link in the description. Y'all can click all the links in the description. But um, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.